Ooh. All right. All right, PK from ManForWars.com, 2.27 p.m., Saturday, May 9th, 2020, here at Queen's Park, downtown Toronto, Canada. Um, and uh, just wrapping up soon, uh, a very cold day, but a very successful protest. Started off with about 50 to 100 people, turned into close to 500 people, maybe. And um, lots of video proof of that. Lots of polite patriotic Canadians promoting polite patriots at ManForWars.com as well. So let's go get the, uh, the last bits of it with the last bits of what's left of my, uh, this camera battery. Ooh. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We all smell stuff we like all the time. We don't eat all of it. We don't eat all of it. Come on, man. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, eh? Wild. <laughs> hey, man, you want to talk about what the sign's about? What you guys are up to? Uh, you no, know, we're just up here because of this communist government that's coming in, right? Yeah. don't want communism. Lots of people moved away from other countries so that they could get away from communism, and it seems like it's being pushed upon us here. And uh, when the... When the people fear the government, or when the government fear the people, there's liberty, and when the people fear the government, there's tyranny, and that's kind of what I think what's happening here today. They're they're telling you to stay home while they go out to their cottages. You can't go to your cottage, but we got money and power, so we're gonna go to our cottages. You guys just stay at home, and here's your two thousand dollar pennies uh, for your hush money, so you can just pretend, right? Pretend yeah. That there's a virus. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not real. It could be. And then, yeah, I didn't like the occult factor, right? You, you wear the mask, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Sure. You got people wearing, wearing masks just going along with the virus. Yeah. That's sick. We're all in Eyes Wide Shut, some eyes wide creepy, shut. perverted, satanic movie. That's yep. right. I'm, sick, with right? I'm with you. I'm with you. Awesome. Cool, man. What's your, what's your name? First name? Uh, Kyle. Kyle BK. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet do you. Do you want to write down your email? We'll stay in touch. You want to do more offline about this as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Uh, sure. Sure, go ahead, man. Scratch it down if you'd like. Um, because basically, yeah, Carol. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Good. Hi. Hi. There you go. I would say basically, I, you know. If a bunch of guys get together and we just uh, wake up the whole city and country, then I think we can win. And so that would be ideal. Oh, yeah, 100%. <clears throat> you know, I'm not just talking about uh, protests are great. You see the numbers, three, 500 people here. But uh, but also reaching out with posters and flyers and connecting That's with people. That's what I was saying. Yeah, and this is K. Is this K-I-L-E? Yep. Underscore 1988 yep. at hotmail.ca. Yep. Yeah, man, we did this last time against swine flu. Me and a bunch of guys, we did this. We loaded up our backpacks and posters and flyers. We hit up the whole streets. We reached out to everybody. Everybody's cool with it. And so uh, I think we can do something similar to, uh, now. The weather's getting nicer, you know. If we have to, we can use masks and hand sanitizer. We film everything because we're media. We get body cams if we have to. And we just go... Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. And so we do that, and then we say to people, look, here, hand sanitizer, six feet away, yeah, yeah. you reach out your hand, just take that flyer, think for yourself, thanks. Like, we can, we can... we need, right? We need <clears throat> alternative media putting out other content because they're just promoting, they're a corporation, right? Six corporations rule all the media. Yep. It's sick. And we need to get more people understanding how normal Canadians are cool with us. Because yeah, yeah. the media will keep saying, oh, you know, Ford will call us Yahoos or whatever. We need more, more people to be like, no, 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 those guys are cool. Yeah. They're cool with each other and they're cool with us. So we, we took a look at what they had to share. We took a look at the little flyer they said. And if it's stupid, we laughed. If it's smart, we enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. So. Uh, you know what? A lot, of, a lot of people, like, I don't know, like, <clears throat> if you know about Ernst Zundel. Yeah. And, like, how he questioned the Holocaust. Yeah. Which is whatever. I don't know. We do whatever. He does his own thing. Free speech, he, man. If it's stupid, there, laugh. He promoted. He kept printing off newspapers yep. and, new, and everything like that. And, you know, that's what we got to do, too. That's right? what we got to do. Yeah. That's the offline info war. Like, online's fine. Yeah. Iron sharpens iron. But if you and I both know about this stuff, we keep talking to each other. That's cool. We can but take that. 
We're exactly. Not spreading it, right? Exactly. Because not a lot of people are not. Everyone's on Facebook, friggin', uh, you know, in conspiracy groups. Right. Right. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying is that we reach out offline and we are polite patriots. We're yeah, cool yeah. with each other. We're cool with you. We're not like screaming Antifa, Nazi, yeah, F the yeah. pigs. Whatever. We're not. We're not those people. We're cool with each other. We're cool with other people. And you know, here, check this out. You know, so there you go. Awesome, brother. Email nice me. to meet you. I will email you. Yeah, right. I'll get a couple more before this dies. Uh, Cheers. You too. <clears throat> All right. Hello. Uh, woo. Let me see some more sign folk. Signs of the times. All right. <clears throat> How you doing, man? You want to talk about why you're, why you're holding the sign? What's going on? All right, so what's your first name? First name is Marty. Marty, thank you, Marty BK, nice to meet you. So it says here, Trudy Ford, Tory. Yep, they're the stories of uh, economies, and I believe it's going to be millions of lives. Right. Um, they've taken this, they've taken this ball that's been started in the world, and they've just taken it to a whole new level. They're shutting down our economies to protect. Uh, I don't know who they're protecting. Uh, we have some very vulnerable people. I realize this is a virus and it does kill people. I'm not a stupid person. And, you know, they, they've taken this and they've taken away all our rights. I've been a taxpayer in this country for over 40 years. And I've got Mr. Doug Ford calling me a Yahoo. Like, how did I become a Yahoo? I've, I've been nothing but a law-abiding citizen of this country, a good, very good citizen of this country. And the minute you speak out in this country, they want to they want to stamp on all your rights. They want to call you yahoos. They want to call you bozos. The mayor down in Fort Erie is calling the people bozos down there because they wanted to go to the beach. Um, all our rights are being taken away, and for some reason, we're considered worse than the vaccine or worse in the virus um, you know and this is and they keep baiting us they keep baiting us with with, with uh, free money that's going to kill our society in the future justin trudeau ever since he's come to power he's done nothing but create debt he he i could not believe when he stayed on the national television that the, the a budget doesn't matter to him he doesn't care about the bottom line he cares about the big picture how can you be responsible for a country and speak to your citizens that way? The man does not care about anyone but himself advancing his career and advancing his political agenda, which I believe to be communism. Justin Trudeau is a traitor to this country. It's not, I say it's about the economy, stupid, but it's far from that. It's about removing our rights as citizens, <coughs> stamping on a charter of rights. They're stamping on the on all the uh, rights in the U.S. as well. Uh, the damages that are going to be done by Trudeau. Trudeau has taken this opportunity to give away as much money as he can. And he's gonna, he's gonna. All the damages will be irreparable to this country and and our children. That's who I'm concerned about. I've lived a good life in this country, but I have grandchildren coming along that are gonna have to try and live and pros prosper in this country. You know, oh, sorry, I'm speaking moistly. No, it's all I'm good, man. So, I'm so upset. <clears throat> um, you know, you know the way they're treating uh, the citizens of this country. You know, tor you know, Doug Ford talks about people carrying the flag ups down, upside down. You know, disrespecting this country. They are disrespecting this. Sure, country. it's a Doug classic Ford, symbol of distress. Justin Trudeau, John Tory, to me is he showed his true fascist side. Uh, you know, hysterically uh, demanding people stay out of parks, threatening him with big fines, he should be ashamed of himself. John Tory is nothing but a, a pro professional politician, he can never get a job in the real world, and he's talking to the tax-paying citizens of, his, of Toronto like they're garbage. He should be totally ashamed of himself. The man is a menace, and, and so Doug Ford is a menace to the citizens of Ontario. 
and, and it's okay for him to drive up to his cottage and check his pipes, as he say. And meanwhile, the week before, he said it only takes one citizen to spread this virus. So why is he going up north, breaking all the and flaunting in our face? And he's always got an excuse. And they don't allow anybody into the media conferences that'll ask any tough questions of these politicians, right? Yeah. Justin Trudeau. Through, through uh, different sectors of his government, they banned alt media from asking him any tough questions. They're all scripted, scripted questions and answers. This is not democracy. It, it's corrupt government gone wild, and uh, we have to put an end to it. If we have to, re we need a major revolt in all countries against these governments. I'm with you. If they're not working for us, you said traitor. With the TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, Paris Climate Accords. Uh, UN Global yeah. Compact for Migration. Trudeau's not working for us. He's no. working for international globalists exactly. that want to he, he run want, the world. He wants to be a seat on the United Nations. Yeah. And he's doing whatever he can to get that. Yeah. And and it's been since day one. This is nothing new with him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, at least at least his father, although he did some bad things to this country, at least his father, I think, had some ethics and he had some he had some love for Canada. Justin Trudeau has no love for Canada. Yeah, and it's not incompetence or ideology, it's treason. It's he's being it's being, he's working for somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Awesome, Marty. Nice to meet you. Okay. Do you want to scratch down your email? Uh, BK, nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you want to scratch down your email? I'm emailing some people about uh, some other things we can do about this if you'd like. Yeah, go ahead, man. There you go. <clears throat> um, I know a lot of people are concerned about this, and uh, and we can do a lot about this. You know? I'm very concerned about the future. This, this is a great country, but I'm very concerned about the future. If we show solidarity with each other, and then we convince the people of uh, Toronto and Canada that we are, uh, you know, uh, aligned and we are worth supporting, and we are going to reach out, and we're going to save where you love to live, then I think we can do something. So that that would be ideal. Yeah. You know, because this doesn't happen very often. You know, once a week, 500 people get together, but it shows there's 500 people that are willing to, to do this on a cold as hell day, and uh, that's that that really means something. So, for sure. Excuse me. Um, sorry, you know, mate. We got Martin uh, Shank. S H S C H A N C K yeah. at Rogers.com. Okay, beauty. Yep. Good. Sorry, mate. Yeah, nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you. Any final thoughts? I would, I would, I would just, I would really love to encourage people to, to get off their sofas. You know, get out of their houses. Stop watching videos. Like, uh, you know, I see young children here. I see teenagers here. They're not playing. Get, stop your children from playing video games. Yeah. And, and get them to start thinking about the future of this country. Exactly. This is not a laughing matter. Exactly. Right? Exactly. This guy can call us yahoos, but it's not a laughing matter. This is very serious. We're talking about the future of a great country that's been <clears throat> torn apart and our rights are being torn apart and trampled on. Listen, man, you're speaking free. You're one of my can cold Canadian cockles with your ballsy, polite, veteran Canadian man talks. So I appreciate that. Okay, you know, we'll be in touch. Take care, All right. sir. <laughs> All right. Whew. Let's see here. <clears throat> All right. How you doing, guys? Not too bad. How's it going? Not too bad. Just uh, just getting uh, getting your thoughts on this my body, my consent, and you're all fatigued up. It looks like you're taking this seriously. Uh, what's your first name and what are your thoughts? Yeah, that's it. Sure. What's your first name? What are your thoughts? Hey, Yanos. My name is Devin. Devin. And uh, I think like every typical Nazi and my body, my choice. I don't give consent to vaccines entering me without my permission. I don't think anyone should be forced to have something shoved inside them without their permission. <laughs> hey now, hello. hello. So you'll pay good money for that. <laughs> awesome. How about you, Yanos? What do you got to say, man? I haven't got you on here yet. Well, uh, just chilling Thank you, Devin. Now. Just chilling out. Just chilling out? Yeah. It certainly is cold enough to. It's nice and cold, you know. Yeah. But I'm building up my immune system. Yep. And with a strong immune system, you can fight uh, anything. I'm with you. No. I'm hip. I'm hip. I'm hip. Build up your immune system. That's all you can do. Gotcha. Okay? Gotcha. Don't fucking uh, bubble yourself up 
because if you bubble yourself up, you're going to lower your immune system. Gotcha. Okay. I okay. Absolutely. So you're hey, doing boss. Stay better. That's all you can do. I'm with you. I'm with you. Play in the dirt. Go you. And get dirty. Go. Yeah. Go camping. Oh, you're touching dirt. Don't die. Live in a bubble, boy. Live in a bubble. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fucking bubble boy. You're not a fucking bubble boy. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Listen, man, you're warming my cold Canadian cockles with your fucking ballsy talk, man. I'm liking it. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> Why the hell did they do that? <laughs> yeah, this this is this is illegal. This is illegal. What is this? There's no reason for this police car to be blocking this traffic. This is illegal. This car wants to go this way, and this and this this is illegal. What is this? What time is it? It is. Yeah, no, this is illegal. Hold on. What time? I'm gonna get this down for legal action. Yeah, hold on. So this is. Saturday, May 9th, 2020, 2.43 p.m. Downtown Toronto, Canada, north of College University, just south of Queen's Park. And for some reason, this police car is blocking traffic here for no spe special reason. There's no reason. There's cars that want to drive up this way, and they want to continue up that way, and they can't get through unless they're a motorcycle. Who knows? So why is this police car, license plate BWKS376, uh, car number MCIT05, why are they blocking this traffic when there are people that want to drive on this lane and they want to drive this way? Is there a special emergency reason? She's intruding traffic. Is there an emergency reason? Double standard. She doesn't even have water <coughs> on her roof that are going. All right, so let me ask. Hello. Sure, but why are you blocking this? Nobody can hit me anyway. Why are you blocking this traffic? No, but isn't this illegal? Should I ask them to talk to you? Should I ask them to talk to you? Isn't it illegal to block traffic like this? What are you supposed to do when this cop is blocking traffic illegally? Should you ask that cop? So, they're asking me to get off the road, but it's safe for me to be on the road and talk to her. No, no. It's safe for me. one law for all. It's safe for me to be on the road and talk to her because she's blocking traffic. There you go. You said it. Yeah. Wait a minute. I got your recording, bro. It's safe for me to be on the road and talk to you because you're blocking traffic. Nobody can hit me. So, can I talk to you about why you're doing this? Look, we don't bother you, you don't bother us. We're all polite Canadians serving and protecting our country. So why can't we have a conversation about this? <laughs> Nobody's gonna hit me because you're blocking traffic. Why can't we discuss this? I'm not gonna be aggressive or annoying and there's a young lady in the car for God's sakes. But I God damn chick hops, man. Ah. ah, whatever. Mm. All right, well, so we are both on this road right now. We are not in any danger of getting hit by a car because that police car is blocking traffic and that police car behind it is also possible. Unless that police car is giving that one a ticket. They're Is that police car going to give this one a ticket or at least give them a warning and tell them to move? Apparently the boss. Well, why park here? Isn't this illegal? It's okay for her. She's the boss. Oh, look. The rules. They can go wherever they want if they got something to do. And they can... I don't care. Just get out of their way. But what is this? So... You got real car in the flight? Yeah, come on this way if you're allowed. They said she's the boss. She sets the rules. She's in 
Traffic. In, in fairness, man, like it's been pretty cool so far. Yeah. This is just, this is, just, it's getting cool. She's We've been cool, traffic. they've been cool, but this is a different thing. That's the highway traffic app. Yeah, I know. Look, somebody yelled at me for being on the road. I got off. Traffic. Yelling at them for being on the road. Traffic. You should get a fine. But don't they have people that are in crisis? Oh, take care, Jack. We'll be in touch. Yeah, take care, brother. Are meant to deal with people with mental health issues. We have a trained nurse in there. Why aren't they the out, out protecting the people, people in crisis? Why are they here blocking traffic? Well, this is very strange. <sighs> All right. So why? Why can't this car make a left? Like, what's the legal reason for that? That car was in the, in the left lane, and they wanted to turn left and, and, and take this U-turn. Why do they have to go all the way down College Street? Why inconvenience these people? Hey, also, this specific van yeah. is meant to deal with people in, with mental, mental health issues, like right. people that are suicidal in right. crisis. Right. Why are, why are these people aren't, aren't, aren't being used to help people in crisis. Why are they here just for traffic control? There's a trained nurse in there. Yeah. There's a trained mental health officer that's trained to deal with people in crisis. Why are they here de uh, blocking traffic as opposed to helping the, helping out the people that need it? So they could use a regular cop car to block traffic. Yeah. But, you know, but no, but they're using, they're using a the special specialized unit. There's there's barely any of them in the city to deal with people in crisis, and right. yet they're they're taking them away from their duty here to block to, to block traffic. That's what I meant earlier when you interviewed me yeah. about people in crisis. There's people wanting to kill themselves.